Hi, this is Luis Souza from RawVeganPower.com and I'm very glad to start today a new phase of our Raw Vegan Power project. And uh, basically I will be answering your questions, okay? Whenever you have a question you can go to RawVeganPower.com slash welcome and you will be able to leave me a question. And and if I can answer it uh, by myself, I will do it. If I need the, to invite someone else to answer it, I will do that. We make, uh, we can make uh, an interview or something else, okay? And uh, the idea is to help you with your raw vegan power transition, right? And and videos work very well for that and. I intend to answer your questions through videos and through um, posts as well, okay? Well, uh, starting today then, I'm going to answer a, a question here uh, that Anna left us. Dear friend, I'm so grateful for your mission and the great support for your from your website I'm Anna from Berlin Germany hi Anna from Berlin Germany <laughs> it's so cool to, to be in touch with you in Germany I am here in Brazil so cool I, I really love that summer is now over and it starts getting cold here I started the 8 and 10 raw vegan diet in spring this year about 70 percent and I felt that the sun became a big factor in nurturing me can you give me advice on how to get better on the 8 and 10 raw vegan diet when it's cold here I am a little concerned thank you so much love Anna well Anna I had the same problem this year, you know, it's uh, funny that you mentioned that you have this uh, concern uh, regarding the raw vegan diet during winter, right, because in this moment here in Brazil we, has, we are going uh, towards spring, it's, a, it's just the opposite, right. You are going to, to autumn now in Germany. And uh, I, I was really concerned this year, you know. And, uh, and I am an 8 and tenor. I, I, I follow the 8 and 10 proportions, okay. And uh, what happened to me this year, last, um, I would say, May or June, because uh, it was getting colder here in those months, is that I was really worried. Well, my uh, solution for that was uh, really being uh, strict with the 8 and 10 diet uh, for breakfast and lunch and during the day, okay? But uh, for dinner I would uh, eat some potatoes, cooked potatoes or maybe once a week, I, do, I don't do this usually, it's not normal for me but during uh, the Saturday I would uh, eat uh, one meal of r cooked rice, you know, sometimes uh, I would do that. Well, uh, and maybe a, a warm soup, you know. You don't need to, to really do that, okay, but uh, the important thing here is that uh, I don't think that we need to be so strict, you know especially when you are beginning because you uh, have to think about yourself as an organic and transformational being, right? 
so you need to give time to your body to adjust and you just mentioned that you started right just started then be easy with yourself okay and try to keep far from processed foods you know grains and so on you know as uh, dr graham mentions in his book but if you really feel that during some cold days you need to eat some something cooked just do it you know I, but just try to keep the 8 and 10 proportions usually I crave for starches okay usually potatoes then for me it's easy okay I do that if you crave for something else do it you know because you are adjusting you know and the, the important thing here is the proportions I, I, I really see that so don't eat too much fat the protein either okay I mean 10% 10, 10 of protein and 10% of fat but if you really feel that you need to eat some cooked food do it you know and you will need some time to adjust and winter is hard just uh, keep the proportions and eat as many fruits as you can every day and if you can't really stick to the fruit and veggies uh, diet then go for some potatoes and other things like that okay but don't worry so much don't push yourself too much because one thing that I realized that it's not so good for me and for many other raw vegans is to really think that we need to be 100% and this is not true you know you don't really need to be 100% you I really think that the most the the highest benefit that you can get from the raw vegan diet is uh, self-knowledge that's my idea okay self-knowledge and mental clarity well you need to uh, ha have as a goal your mental clarity in first first place you know because this will give you peace of mind this will put your life in another perspective and then you need to uh, use that mental clarity to learn more about yourself okay about about your body to to hear your body and uh, and if you are too strict with yourself you see maybe going for the bad stuff or maybe this just the opposite way you know giving you very rigid rules to follow giving yourself this kind of rules I don't think this is productive you know I, I don't think that you will stick to it for a long time you need to use these basic rules the 8 and 10 diet is fantastic the 8 and 10 rules to uh, use them in your, in your benefit to, to really fluctuate sometimes you know with this diet you know you, you don't, don't push yourself too much into being 100% because 
I think the uh, exactly the the imposition the, this this um, uh, high requirement that you do on yourself it wouldn't be productive so don't worry so much you know I, I wouldn't be worried uh, and it's funny because as soon as uh, days become warmer and and even hotter here in Brazil I am uh, starting to eat more fruit naturally you see naturally I'm not pushing myself I just I'm just doing it you know and I don't crave for soups or I mean hot soups and um, and potatoes so much anymore you know it's it's a natural thing you see so uh, this is my advice to you you know I wouldn't worry so much and give your ta ta yourself time to adjust and and keep this in mind that you need mental clarity that's the reason I wrote that book Run Now the best way to clear your mind and be happy because clearing your mind and being happy for me are the best things that uh, we can get from the diet you know, because this will benefit us in, in other areas as well not only health but financial health and other uh, relationships and so on Okay, Th this is my advice to you. I hope this was helpful, and I will be answering more questions uh, shortly. And uh, thank you so much for watching. You know, subscribe to our channel here, and subscribe to our newsletter. Keep in touch. Okay, you who are watching, and Anna, thank you for your question. I I really appreciate that you sent me that question because we covered it today. Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.